Hi guys, and welcome to my hole in the ground. Let me just show you how I've built it first. I have dug out an eight by eight hole, and I've gone down 20 blocks. So after filling in with concrete, we have got ended up with a six by six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And on this side as well, we'll just pick these up to get them out of the way. And I'll just quickly show you what we've got on the inside. We have got these. Which are this wood frame wedge steep corner tops. So if you select these and put them in a rotation of something like that, they work perfect because you've got like half a block there, half a block there and two missing half blocks in the middle. So hopefully the zombies will just fall down there. Zombies are a bit unpredictable, so it don't happen all the time. That's why we've got this happening on each side, just in case they're coming from whatever side. They haven't got to run around the side to get down here. So, yep, we have got a few ramps as well, just to help them in the hole on the sides there. Let's go down the bottom and show you what's going on down here. We have blocked ourselves in with vault hatches. The only reason why I've done this is because of them 7,000 hit points. And at end game, they're quite easy to make. Let's have a look at the fences. I have put electric fence posts on all the outside here. Same on every side, and I've put fence post in each corner. <coughs> Now, the only reason why I've done that is because when they drop down, they'll come to the side here, get electrocuted, stay in place, and so I can just blow their heads off. So all that is like self-explanatory, really. I've upgraded them to reinforced concrete, just in case they start standing on each, other, each other's heads. I've also put a... Let me just show you again. I have put... A wood plate on advanced rotation so it's there just to help stop the spiders and dogs getting through I have put these wooden uh, iron bars in the corners but I don't think it's needed I've also just blocked this off as well just so I don't run into the to the electric fence because I do get a bit excited on board night and want to kill everything and forget that I've put these there. But yeah, if you've got... If you do try to make this base yourself, do make it a 6x6. Six six, and then you've got the option. Let's just change that. And you can put blade traps here, here, here and here. If you want a bit of extra devastation going on. So yeah, you can just wire, wire them up to the generator and away you go. Like I say... You can customise this build however you want. You can take all these out if you want and just have the ones on the outside. Like I say, the outside ones are important just in case they start standing on each other's heads. You will be electrocuted and those ones as well. Those ones that are climbing. And hopefully this is really good. I have tested this a couple of times and it does work a treat. I'll just quickly show you my game stage as well. I'm level 76 and game stage 140. So we should get lots of cops radiated and hopefully a couple of demolishers flying in as well. But we'll see. So let's fast forward to... Oh, I'll just tell you one thing as well. I'll show you. I have dug out as well. Four blocks back. And then filled this in with um, concrete. If you don't do that, the, the zombies upstairs will try to start digging down. To try to get you from that side or whichever side you're on. So do fill your back side in. To make sure you ain't being rear-ended. Too many puns. But let's get on with it. Let's fast forward to Horde Night. Day 42, let's see what happens. So here we are, the board is going to start coming. 
I've just gone on the outer body experience just so I can show you how the zombies like the stairs. Oh, he's just gone for it. And him. Now, sometimes they do use this and start to walk down, but as you can see, they am just loving the hole. And I would like to say that this is on 64 times zombies. So there'll be a few of them coming in. You haven't got to worry about vultures either because they'll make their way down and get hit by the electric fences. So let's get down there and have some fun. Here we go. We might as well start with a Molotov. Or two. Now, if like me, you're absolutely rubbish at throwing molotovs and grenades, you're safe here, because you've got an absolute massive gap to throw them through. And it doesn't really matter if they hit the vault doors as well. Shouldn't take that much damage. No, they're taking no damage from the fire. So, it's all good. And like I say, because these are being froze in place because of the electric fences, it's easy to get headshots, even if you're me. Got an irradiated. Let's help some cops come, so I can show you what happens with them as well. Because it's exactly the same. All they do is run into the fence and you can just easily take the heads off. Now, what should happen as well, hopefully, we'll get a demolisher or two come. If not, I might just spawn a couple in at the end of the horde night. I'd say with this, the only thing that's a little bit annoying is the electric fences and the sound the zombies aren't annoying because all they end up doing is dying let's see what's going on there i thought there was loads standing on each other's heads then but we're okay like so you can just take your time and just kill these Let's get another Molotov in or two. And I would say that one really great thing about this is you've got time to relax and go around repairing all your... Oh, now I'm on fire. There wasn't even any, any fire there. Let's drink some water. But like I say, you can easily go around because on most kill corridors and stuff like that, you have got to leave your comfort zone and go out and repair the offences or just let them die so, they can, so the zombies can get to you quicker. But like I say, with this, it's just easy. It's just so easy. You can take your time, get your headshots if you want, or just let loose with Molotovs if you want. It's just nice and easy. The only hard thing is, is if you're building this base in game, it will take you a while to dig down. But like I say, you don't need to go 20 blocks down. I've just done 20 blocks just for the, a little bit of ragdoll you could even just go 10 blocks down probably and it'd be the same oh somebody's just got through he's just glitched through probably being pushed through by all these lot but like I say with this because of the electric fences and the how it's positioned you shouldn't have a problem with vultures either 
because they'll just get electrified. Let's use a bit of the assault rifle. And is that it? The music's still going. Just repair, uh, reload these and see if it's any vultures about. Obviously, don't be like me. Always, always send your generator off first. Or your switch off. Yeah, we've got a couple of vultures. Here we go. Got quite a few, actually. So, let's have a look at how much damage they've done. Now, they will have done a little bit of damage to the plates. But that is only absolute minimal. That's the worst one. And it's only had 800 off it. Which is superb. Let's go this side because there's too many bodies on the inside. That's got 5,800. Five thousand two hundred. So the worst bolt patch has got 5,200, which is an easy repair. That is absolute piece of cake. And let's have a look at the sides. There should be absolute minimal damage here. There might be a bit of damage of the vultures the vultures have had a bit of a chew over here but that is no problem anyway because it didn't stop the zombies from pathing what's that 600 damage to that i think it was because i was standing so far back i was standing at the back of the room so if you'd want to prevent that happening, you'd have to come out another two blocks. But that is an absolute piece of cake to do, isn't it? Day 42, 64 times zombies, and not a lot of damage done to the base. We'll get a few of them in. Let's grab their attention. Let's see what happens with these guys. Let's turn everything back on. Six 
sitting ducks. I mean, you could even do this with... I mean, I'm not exactly rushing to hit, hit them either. It's class. Let's just go around this guy, this side. Let's sort this guy out. Oh, oh it's a bit, it's a bit hard to hit him with melee. But like I say, if you are blowing up demolishers, it's more to do with your own shooting skills than anything else. So yeah guys, what do you think about my hole in the ground? I think it's absolutely fantastic and I can't wait to get this inside a game. So let me get, let me know what you guys think as well. And of, as always guys, please stay safe and I will see you guys in the next one.